I'm late TT party and this is going to be a quick video just showing what model kits have arrived for me in the mail. As you'll see this has already been opened. This is actually take two. The first take after I had shown the first two model kits there was like an A4 sized piece of paper with the company who I purchased these from's slogan plastered all over it and I didn't really want that in the video so unfortunately yeah it's already open. But let's get on with this. So first cut up we have the MSM03 GOG. We will take a look at these once they're out of the brown box. We also have Mobile Gin or Gin depending on how you say it. MS07B Goof and last but not least the Calamity Gundam So this is the four kits that have arrived. If anyone has seen my other videos to do with the model kits, uh, if you haven't, please check them out. I also currently have a Build Strike Gundam full package and a Build Burning Gundam and also a Gundam Rose. I'm still very early into this hobby and I still think it's a wise choice for me to Basically pick up anything that stands out, anything that I like the look of, and anything that's not going to break the bank, as I don't want to purchase things which are too, well, not too expensive, but which are expensive, and at this stage I might still make minor mistakes, and then I would feel as if I've ruined the model kits, I'd feel a bit down on myself there, so I'm sort of picking up these cheaper kits, and going to hopefully get better, you know, upgrade my skills as I go along so that I can put them together better and nicer to you know, produce a better quality finish. This GOG, I uh, thought it looked kind of cool, unlike the other three Gundams which are mainly white with a bit of blue, red and yellow on them. This looks completely different and that's been the reason for some of these choices. Unlike the other model kits which I have, which are that traditional white, blue, bit of red, bit of yellow, these guys are all very colourful as you can see. The goof blue, this guy, like a brown and hmm, mustard sort of colour, again being yellow and white, and then Calamity being like a teal or an aqua, so I thought they looked pretty cool, especially like the Goof's um, weapon set that sort of comes with them, let's see if I can show you, as you can see here it seems to contain this whip, sword, shield, have here extra hands. Uh, apparently one of his hands, I don't know if that's meant to be like a gun sort of hand, I don't know. Don't know much about the models themselves as I still haven't seen any of the TV shows. But yeah, wanted to show off these kits, see if anyone possibly in the comments have built them, what they think of them, are they any good, are they not very good. I will do unboxing videos for each of them. Well, actually, no. Unbox for this one, and unboxing for Clamity Gundam. These guys, this guy was very, I say very cheap, uh, very cheap compared to, say, this model. Um, and they all are pretty cheap, to be fair. This was definitely under 1,000 yen, possibly a bit over it. Uh, 850 yen, and maybe just over 1,000, something along those lines. As you can see with this guy, he comes with what looks like a large arsenal of weaponry, so that sort of weighed in on the reason why I thought, yeah, colourful, different array of weapons, he'll do. And the gin, what's he got going on? Pretty standard, although I did like the little ankle missiles, thought that was pretty cool, and this 
these large like backpack or shoulder pads or whatever you want to think of those thought that was pretty cool looking design as well and with the gog i like that for he looked chunky i think that's the best way to describe it a lot of these model kits this sort of style the strike gundam the build burning gundam quite slim we're with gog here He's quite a rounded body style. I don't think this guy comes with really any form of weaponry. It is just, you know, it was like 680 yen, maybe less, maybe 600. And long arms, big claws, and a little chubby, little little chunky guy. So I thought, yeah, you'll look nice in contrast to the model kits which I currently own. So I'm not going to extend this video too much longer, trying to fill it out with fluff. Just going to keep it short and simple. Thanks very much for watching, if you would like to subscribe and like that would be great, uh, come back and we will see unboxing of the kits and hopefully eventually when they get made, a bit of an overview, uh, letting you see how they look completed and how they compare with one another. Thank you and see you again next time.